Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in past uh, few videos we have covered criteria query and we have learned how to select data using criteria queries in you know, objective oriented fashion. Right? So in all videos uh, till it whatever we have covered I mean in criteria queries we had a single root entity right so in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to select data from more than one root entity right so basically this is uh, an example where we are going to see how we can add a multiple roots entity and how we can select data so I have already created a project so here I am going to explain you each and every files of this project so our project is maven based so if you go to the dependencies section then I have added a dependency for MySQL connector Java because we are using MySQL database and second dependency I have added for the Hibernate and let's make a latest version of Hibernate that is 5 to 12 so I'm going to specify 5 to 12 and let's save it now uh, second file we have a Hibernate cfg.xml file uh, which is basically a basically maintains the all hibernate related properties and here we are using the database name is called test and we have a three entity class person partner and phone right these three entity class we have registered over here so let's start with the person person is a entity class which is having some fields uh, value type fields and uh, if you come down then we have a uh, we have declared the list of phones so one person can have a many phones and that's the reason we have a specified uh, list of phones over here and we have given the cascade type also that when we will save the person object along with the person list of phone will be saved in the database automatically and here I have given the mapped by person that means this is showing that another side we have a phone entity and there is a variable is called person so here uh, basically in uh, phone table basically we have added a person id as a foreign key so uh, basically phone table is basically responsible to maintain the relationship between uh, these two tables person and uh, phone and uh, once you specify the mapped by person then hibernate will not create the join table so this relationship in one to many association can be maintained in the uh, only two tables and many side we have added the reference of single side that's the basic concept now here you can see phone type we have declared as an enumeration and uh, we have given the we have used at enumerated and saying that enum type a string so here if you go to the uh, phone type then here if somebody selects landline then landline is gonna save as a string in the database uh, if mobile type if phone type is mobile then mobile is gonna save instead of uh, uh, a string you can select ordinal as well if you do not specify this attribute then ordinal will be taken as a uh, default now we have a, another entity class is called partner so partner independently exists so there is no relationship between a person and partner this is an independent entity class now here we have a save now we have a also and uh, utility class which is basically responsible to create the ses uh, hibernate session factory so this session factory is returned to the client when clients calls the get session factory by using class name because this is a static method then this is going to return the session factory which gets created in this static block and as we know that in code java a static Block is, block is executed the manual class is getting loaded right so that's all about the uh, uh, utility class now we have a save data client and here save data client uh, we have a person one basically and we have a phone one so phone one uh, phone one just we have assigned to the person one uh, sorry phone uh, phone one basically belongs to the person one and person one we are setting the reference of phone one because this, we have a bi-directional relationship between person and phone again we have a second person uh, which is having two phones phone two and phone three belongs to the uh, person two itself and uh, again uh, phone two belongs to the person two and phone three is also belongs to the person two 
and in person also we are uh, setting the reference of phone 2 and phone 3 for the person 2 and we have another uh, entity partner which is independent entity there we have created one reference of entity and here we are saving the person 1 person 2 so along with person 1 and person 2 a corresponding list of uh, phones also will be saved and we are also saving the partner uh, reference as well so here if you look into our database so as of now nothing is there in the test so here once i run this application then all these tables will be created and data will be saved into the table so if i go over here and refresh the table refresh this schema then three tables are getting created so in partner there is only one record if you go to the person there will be two records and uh, in phone there will be three records so phone two uh, phone two and three belongs to the person whose id is two and uh, phone one belongs to the person whose id is one now here uh, let's uh, have a look on, on another class criteria query with multiple routes so let me rename this guy as routes because multiple routes we have over here now here what we are trying to do basically first of all we have created an object of criteria builder and uh, criteria builder is having a method is called create criteria there i have passed tuple tuple reference so because we want the uh, result as a tuple now here uh, we have a two routes first first we have a person root so i am doing criteria from so from basically uh, from clause uh, criteria query object defines a query over one or more entity uh, or you can say embeddable or basic abstract schema types the root the root objects of the query are entities and uh, from which the other types are reached by navigation right so here uh, we have a uh, we have we have a uh, roots right so we have a two roots we have selected so roots define the basic from which all joins paths attributes are available in the query a root is always an entity type roots are defined and added to the criteria by overloaded uh, from methods on the uh, criteria query and that's that's the from method so here we have a first root is a person and second root is the partner and here in criteria i have called as a multi select and these two roots we are passing over here and we have putting two restrictions on every roots right so i have called and method on the builder right uh, criteria builder and saying that inside the and builder dot equals i'm telling person dot root address so for for person i am looking for the address is equivalent to this right so if you look into the database so person for person 2 uh, this address belongs right so this address will come from the client so here i have a hard coded and again i am telling uh, builder dot is not empty and person root get phone so i am looking for the person who is having phone with not empty at least person is having the one phone right and second so that's the that that's the variable name i have given the person restriction and this this is a kind of predicate and second predicate i have prepared for the partner restrictions again i am looking i i call the builder on like and i'm calling the like method right and uh, saying that partner root dot get name so i'm looking for the partner name at uh, and whose name is equivalent to m u r right so if any partner who is having a name with at least a string uh, m u r so this guys there is a one partner and a partner uh, name attribute which is, which is having a m u r uh, string uh, between middle of the name right and uh, again i'm going, uh, telling builder dot equals partner root dot get version is equal to one and you can see version is one and this is the second predicate for the partner and uh, i have also added a where clause so i am doing criteria dot where and builder dot and and these two predicates just i am uh, i want as a and so if these two predicates gets true 
then only you'll get some data and finally i'm calling a create query on session and this criteria which uh, we have prepared with uh, two uh, two uh, entity roots as well as these predicates i'm passing over here and calling get result uh, get result list method which gives us the tuple of list and this tuple i'm iterating over here and in first index i'm expecting to get the person because first our first root is the person right so uh, i have type type casted into the person i am doing the tuple dot get zero and type casted into the person person is not null then i am trying to print the person so in person entity class we have over in the two uh, over in the two resting method so this will print the object of a state in nice format again i am doing the person dot get phone and just i am iterating the list of phones and trying to print the phone over here again on here you can see when i called uh, uh, when i called uh, multi select then second root we have a partner root so that's the reason i am looking partner on the second index right and that i have to type, type cast into a partner and i am to try to print the partner over here so let me run this example and see whether we are able to select data from two roots or not cool so here you can see so you can see that uh, query which is fired by the hibernate so person first selecting data from the person then second selecting data from the partner saying that from person and this is the alias of the person table now join on partner and in where clause you can see what the condition are getting added saying that person 0 underscore that's the alias of uh, person table address equal to question mark and that's this address we are passing over here and uh, saying that and exist in exists they are putting some condition as well right so we have uh, given the condition on this as well so those conditions are also getting added over here and uh, like operator is also getting added because we have added the like operator as well for the uh, partner right for partner we have added the like operator so that operator is also getting added and uh, version uh, we are looking for the one right so that's getting added and you can here you can see the person information is getting printed and when we want the list of phones for the person then the list of phones are also getting printed so there are two phones for person whose id is two first is mobile and second is line line so those getting printed as well and second index we are looking for the partner that's also getting printed right so in this example we have learned how we can set a uh, more than one roots root entity uh, while preparing the criteria query and we have added also predicates right and uh, those results we are getting as a tuple of list and uh, that tuple of list we have iterated and we got the results so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning this video if yes then please hit on the like button and if you did not subscribe my youtube channel till yet then please subscribe it so th so thank you so much for watching this video and this code i am going to check in on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any queries or any question or any feedback regarding my youtube channel then please do post below to the video so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial